Hi everyone, this is Wayne Wallace and in this video we're going to look at how to create HTML links. Um, a basic text link like you would see on a website. Let's go on over to uh, my website here. So this is my uh, homepage, waynewallace.com and I've got two types of links on this page. The first one here is a text link within a sentence and you can click on this and go to wherever this link goes to and then the other type of link is an image link so this little graphic right here if you click on it it's going to take you to a different website so there's the website this is the my marketing hotline website where I do live webinars every Friday so let's go back so that's the other type of link there's an image link and then there's a text link so this is pretty basic stuff if you already know this you can just avoid watching this um, video but if you'd like to sign up for my free wordpress training then uh, click on the link in the description below and you can get on the uh, mailing list for the videos that I put out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to create a link this is for very beginner type level HTML coder. So what you want to do in your WordPress uh, edit window on your page or wherever you want to put this code, it could be in a text widget that goes on the sidebar menu, it could be on a page, it could be in a post, it can be anywhere. Anywhere you can put HTML because this is just basic 101 HTML. So here we have a sentence that says, do you want to learn how to create a WordPress website? for your business sign up for my space so that's the sentence and then here starts the anchor uh, description for the link so in HTML called code it's called an anchor so that's why there's a open paren a that means we're gonna do an anchor and that anchor is gonna be a link so we're gonna have a href um, parameter here and then the parameter value is going to be this link right here and if you're a member of uh, WA you may know that we have a link tracker built in and this is one of my link tracker links and you can go to my blog and watch my other video about link tracker if you don't know anything about that so the after your um, your tag of a href then you want to have the words that are going to become blue and underlined in your browser and in my case this is going to be free wordpress video training course and then you always want to close your tag so anytime you open a tag you want to close the tag and if you don't do that then your website is just going to break because you don't have the right code in there so this is like putting a period at the end of the sentence it's just part of the grammar of html so you always want to have an open tag and then you want to have a closed tag right here. You want to balance those tags. So if your code doesn't work, always make sure you're closing your tags first. That's one of your biggest mistakes. And then this next example is an example of an image that's clickable. So if we flip back over to the website, you'll see this graphic right here. It says WordPress. Uh, free video training course build a website in 30 seconds so if you came to this page you may just click on this because you think it's a button or whatever and I want it to do something I don't want it to just do nothing so what I did was I created a href again and this links off to uh, a sign up form and then in this case I wanted to launch that into a different web page I didn't want it to do that within the current browser window. I want to open a new browser window and go to that web page to sign up because I don't want them to leave my website. I want them to stay on my website. So in this case, this is what I did. I put target equals um, quote underscore blank and then close quote and that basically says before you go to that website open a new window and then go to that website. And then this um, after the a tag opening tag would be the image tag 
and in image tag you can just use by itself you don't need the ahref but in this case if you put the image tag in between the opening a bracket and the closing a bracket then it's going to be the clickable item instead of your normal text that you would have that's clickable so it basically goes in the same spot as this does but in this case it's an image tag so in an image tag what you do is you say img source and then you point to the source of the image in my case it's a jpeg on my server and um, i just pointed to it and then the alt tag is pretty important because if you're um, a blind person you can't read the website and see what the images are so there's programs that will read the website for you and what they will do is they will look at things like the alt tag and say oh this is a wordpress uh, training sign up image and the the computer program will tell the blind person that so you want to make this alt tag descriptive because if you do that then even blind people are, are going to like your website okay um, and then you want to close that a tag off that anchor tag off with a close bracket and you are pretty much done so use these as a model I'll put them in the description below and you can copy and paste them and then just change the words that aren't relevant for you like this and this and then also change uh, this and then the same thing down below okay Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what other HTML questions you have, and I'll do a little video like this.